This tutorial is going to teach you how to create shadows in Adobe Photoshop. I've prepared a special file to demonstrate this. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to look for Tree for Shadow. That's the file I created. Now this file has basically a tree in it, and it has absolutely no background. So the first thing we're going to do is um, perhaps move our tree over just a little bit. So like so because I want our shadow to fall over here. The next thing would be to add uh, a layer. I'm going to drag the layer on the ground and I'm going to call it white. I'm going to color this layer by going to Alt Back. So I have this layer there. The next thing would be to duplicate. We're going to duplicate our layer as we have here and we should call the um, tree shadow All right, and I'm gonna just put that underneath here and this one we're gonna call um, main tree it's cool now we have our main tree and then we have our tree shadow now for our tree shadow what we're gonna do next is uh, highlight the layer and then control T which is going to give us our free transform tool. From the free transform tool I'm going to right click and go to skew. When I go to skew I'll be able to click and drag this over here and basically what I want to do is lay the tree down. Alright, say like so. And once I'm over here with that I'm going to right click and I'm going to scale it down to about here. And after we scale it down, I'm going to right click again, go back to more skew by clicking it, dragging it like this. Now have something like this. And we keep tweaking just a little bit more to make sure this falls where we want it to fall, like right here. We want to make sure it's there. And uh, I'm going to right click again, scale, click and drag down to like so right click skew again and skew this over here skew over here okay I'm happy with this just like that and once you're done skewing it the way you want to do by deforming it and moving it about resizing I'm gonna click on the move tool to apply the change and I'm gonna make sure the two points are touching right there my next move is to go to the tree shadow Control click on a tree shadow so it's highlight just like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create another layer and I'm gonna call this shadow. And basically, I'm using the silhouette of this tree shadow to create this. And by that, I mean I'm going to turn the eyes off so you can see the marching ants representing the um, shadow of the tree. And I'm going to fill this up with gray, the color gray. So gray right there. I'm going to Alt Backspace. And just like that, I have gray. And click on it. So, all right. So we're almost there. The next step will be to go to Filter and add a Gaussian Blur. Now, given the Gaussian Blur, you can play around with it until you achieve this is obviously too much so I'm gonna go back down a little bit more alright to okay just like that and as you can see we have a somewhat realistic shadow of the tree is as though the light was right over here shining on the tree and therefore casting a shadow that's how you create shadows